Hi guys, it's Theo Mingo here, and I am standing up because I am going to be making something else, and it is clothes related, something like my hoodie that I'm wearing, and that is Gallifreyan shirts, or shirts written on in Gallifreyan rather. And if you don't know what Gallifreyan is, that comes from a TV show named Doctor Who, in which the main character, the Doctor, is from the planet Gallifrey, and he's a Time Lord, and it's the language of the Time Lords. And the Gallifreyan that I'm going to be writing in is functional fan art, meaning that it's like if you try to use this to decipher their Gallifreyan, it'll mean nothing, but mine's will actually, it will mean something. So it's just a fancy way to write English. So what you need for this is a plain shirt, which I have here. I, I suggest you pre-wash it. The reason is because if you don't, and you wash it after wearing it, and you already have the paint on it, it could shrink, causing the paint to like wrinkle, and I don't think you want that. So that's the first thing. The next thing you need are the paint. And the ones that I have here are these metallics in the color black. The next color that I have is a pearl and in the color espresso. And the last one is a metallics gold and yeah. Well, and all of these are Tulip brand, which is a fabric paint, and I would say get fabric paint, but if you really don't want to, you don't have to, you can use acrylic, it's just a more chance that it will crack, and I don't think, again, I don't think you want that. I'm not saying that this won't crack, it's just less likely to happen. Here are the three colors I'm going to be using on my hand. Yes, the espresso color came out a lot and I had to wipe away a lot, but it's really pretty. It's like it's like it's like a coppery color. It's really beautiful. And then the gold and then the black metallic. And the next thing that I have are paint brushes. And I have a big one, a medium one, and a small one. Next thing that you'll need is a jar. I should not throw that. Okay. The next thing you need is a palette or a paper plate. I love paper plates because you can just throw them away. You will also need cardboard and these paper clips. And I'm not going to be using cardboard. I'm going to be using these canvas panels, which I picked up because I was going to paint something that I haven't painted. And the last and most important thing that you'll need are the designs. And I have them all sketched out. And here is one, and here are the other two. So this top one says 50% soft, 50% stepping over the plebeians, and I'm thinking about switching it so that you can read it the correct way, because you're supposed to read Gallifrey from bottom counterclockwise around. So, and the one below that says, do you want to build a snowman? And it is for my friend who has just seen Frozen and is in love with it as much as I am, so I'm excited. And the third one says, I am not a peasant whisperer, because it's something akin to what one of my friends said. By the way, I forgot to say that the first one is based off a video by Marina Shut Up, and it's called Stepping with the Plebeians, and I'll put a link to that in the description. I just really, <laughs> I think that video is hilarious. And I know she's a slug, I believe, but I like sloth, because I misheard it, and it's gonna be sloth. I already wrote it out. I'll put a link in the description to the Google Docs page, which I use so that I can fully understand how this fan art is to be written and read. And yeah, let's get started. So even after all the preparing, I forgot to tell you guys to get a thing. And that thing is either charcoal, chalk, uh, eyeliner, just as long as it's not permanent marker, you can pretty much use it on your shirt and this is so that you can sketch before you start painting on your shirt and possibly mess it up so you can get a, a base so I'm going to show you now how to sketch it. Note, you might also want to compare your shirts, um, previous graphic t-shirts that you have and see where you like the graphic on you. So now we're going to go clip the shirt on the cardboard and finish sketching out the complete design. Stuck in the Pandorica, Amy might be dead and Rory's a Roman With a gun inside his hand, seems like things aren't going as planned Rivers in the TARDIS, the TARDIS is on fire She's feeling the heat on repeat, she'll require Someone she can trust, someone with a bow tie But he's been locked up and left to die Oh my god, what will they do? It seems impossible to get through My mind is blown, but yours is too 
Well, I guess this is Doctor Who. Rory's quite distressed and he starts to sob. When the Doctor appears with a mob, get me out of the Pandorica. But you're not in the Pandorica. Yes, I am. Well, yes, I was. It's complicated, but I won't explain it now because. Then he disappeared into a hazy fuzz. That man, I can't explain what he does and things he does. Oh my god, I don't have a clue. These paradoxes are hard to construe. My mind is blown, I bet yours is too. Well, I guess this is Doctor Who. It's the Big Bang 2 and 92 review. What on earth just happened for my eyes? Time is gone to skew. Has to. I'll try and explain to you the Big Bang 2. The Big Bang 2. Mother's vortex manipulator, which will use to meet Rory 2,000 years later when they find Amy after her sleep in the box. They realize the sun is really the exploding TARDIS. Doctor saves River from the imitator star. This woman watches back, can't help but point out the obvious. Oh my god, he's wearing a vest. 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 Dalek pops up out of nowhere, shoots the doctor, kills him, quite unfair. He jumps back 12 minutes to the stairs, he's dead, and everyone despairs. Little do they know the doctor lies, he's not stopping the universe's demise. Amy says her last goodbyes, doctor flies up into the... So, here's the finished product, and I think it turned out really well for this being the most complex one. Let me go put it on to show you. So, this is how the shirt looks on, let me move my necklace. This is how the shirt looks on. I think it turned out really, really well <laughs> compared to, it took me only a couple hours for me to do this. But I really like the way it turned out. It looks looks nice and it's, not, it's like well centered as well because I was a bit worried about that. So I want to tell you guys why this video was late and it was because the two shirts that I had used for previous parts of this video were meant for friends. So I gave them to them and I totally didn't record anything about the finished look or take a picture or anything so I needed to show you guys the finished product so I had to quickly do mines so I went to petition you guys if you would like me to do commissions because I would like to do commissions and I would do t-shirts like this well not only like this but I can also do uh, I can sketch out artwork and such depending on what you want uh, I can also do regular artwork on canvas and if you want to see some of the artwork that I've done you can go to my Instagram where I, I upload that sometimes and it's instagram.com slash the omingo the link is in the description always and that's about it I'll see you guys next Tuesday I promise you guys Tuesday so bye guys hey guys happy Tuesday and this week I'm going to continue a series that I sort of started but never officially started, which is my- My room is a mess. Let's- let's turn this way. <laughs> yeah, my room's a mess. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. So yeah, that's how my shirt looks. I can't tell if you can actually see all of my shirt because I turned away from the mirror.